morning guys welcome back to another vlog i'm so excited today because basically i'm finally going to get to show you guys that i have got a new car the lease on our old car um uh was up after two years of having it love that car but i've gone and bought myself the car i've always wanted since i was about 20 years old it's stunning it's not the car you probably think i would want but here it is <laughs> get excited Thank you. How cute are the keys, by the way? Ding! This is the, if you haven't already guessed it, it is the Fiat 500. And it is not the 2020 plate. It is 2019. I didn't want to spend really too much on this car, even though it's one I've wanted since I was literally 20. Actually, since I got my license at 17. What, what color is it, Bordeaux? Looks red. As you can <laughs> see, my outfit is inspired by it. And the cream jacket is also inspired by it. You will see the interior in a minute. Obviously, very compact, very practical, especially if you're a first-time driver. But I'll have you know, even if you are a connoisseur of driving, this is the kind of car that you would look at getting if you wanted something that was super fast, amazing brake horsepower, <laughs> number one. Earlier on today, Sid almost had an accident. He slammed his foot down on the brakes, stopped within half a second. Amazing brake horse. Have a look at the rims. <laughs> Have a look at the rims. <laughs> Guys, if you just... Amazing if, <laughs> Come down. If you have a look at these rims. Now, listen, I've had this car for about four weeks now. I haven't cleaned it since I've had it. It's looking pretty good. What weather. inch rims are those? 35 inch rims. And you can see the little 500 logo. So cute, so stunning. It's so almost four by four, so you will not get stuck in the snow when it arrives in that week. <laughs> if you come round to the front... Dina, what's brake horsepower? Um, uh, how quickly you can brake in an emergency. <laughs> so the power of your brakes, and they compare it to a horse, which is understandable. So if I bring you around the front, oh, you can close the window. I'm dead. I'm if dead. I bring you around the front. Okay. So first of all, this car, you cannot deny, is possibly the cutest thing you'll see on the road. And with me in it, I mean, it just it just tops oh, it. Oh, get over it? it. This is me for size, next to the car. It's a toddler's car. So the car, as you can see, is a two-door. Oh, here's the little petrol thing. Oh, I've never put the petrol in. You just unscrew it, put the petrol in. That's so very fancy, that. It that's is like, very fancy. That's like super tech. Yeah, and that's it's only unleaded. I just want to show you how super cute it is. It's a two-door. Now, a lot of you would think that's just a nuisance, but actually, let me tell you something. When you've got two kids, it's amazing because you don't need to worry about them actually opening the door because it doesn't exist. So I'm gonna take you inside now because the interior is utterly stu stunning. It's just one bad thing about this. The door doesn't stay open sometimes. You gotta, there we go. I love this car. People think I'm taking a piss right now. I am in love. I am in love with this car. Someone's calling me, hold on. Probably to congratulate me on my new car. Hello? What? I'm gonna take you inside so you can uh, enjoy the luxe interior with me. So come on in guys, let's go. It's actually surprisingly very spacious in here. Do you want to come into the passenger side? No. Right here we've got the chrome cream leather oh. interior. You've got the logo here. We've got a very loud, oh, we've got a very loud <coughs> beep beep. That's me. So every time I need a little touch up, we'll do it there because actually I don't have a mirror up here, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so I use that. Hi. Come on, guys, you can't deny how stunning, no matter whether or not you love this kind of car, you think it's, you know, predominantly for older people. You know, cars are for anyone, and if my style is granddad chic, then I'm gonna run with it. So I can actually reach the whole kind of a dashboard. If you can see, this is the same Bordeaux, Bordeaux color as the outside, obviously, because we're matching. We've got the um, tartan seats. Granddad. Uh, yes, in a gorgeous kind of slate shade, I'd say. You've got the detailing here. The only thing that does worry me a little bit is, you know, the kids getting in and out and staining it, but it's fine. So we've got the, uh, here's the volume button. Yep, that's my Yankee candle. Here's the volume. Mute, if you want to talk to somebody on the phone, sorted changing the music over here. One thing I really wanted with my car was to make sure that it was an automatic, but it's also a manual, but obviously I'm never gonna drive it manual. Believe it or not, these two over here are the window buttons. Beep. Love it. I think this is fog lights over here. You've got the hazard, um, hazard, hazard button. I don't know what this is yet. Do you? 
I I've got a clue either. what that is. Then you've got the obviously the heating, the air conditioning, the you know that situation. And now, if you have a look down here, I've got my little charger going on. You've literally got a spot. Why is it beeping? What have you done? Just turn it off, shall we? I'm not even in the car. What have you done? Um, why is it beeping, bro? Two drink holders there, and that is literally it in there. Super cute, I know. Sid, come into the back seats because. I actually fit two children in here. In a minute, I'll take you guys to see the boot because it's also surprisingly big. Let's just get out and show you guys. Smooth, I know. We've got a shelf in here, an IKEA shelf, just for reference. Come in. I also have a teeny tiny pram, but surprisingly, is that not quite big for for a little boot? Like I could fit into that. Let's see. Try it. Just like that. Okay. No, 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 sit, 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 it's not, <laughs> it's not going to close. You've got obviously the uh, windscreen wiper at the back, which also has super speed on it. This is your radio antenna. As you can see, this exhaust is fat. And when I am revving, all of the boy racers are looking at me like he's about to kill me off right now. You ready? How do I rev again? Keep it neutral. I keep it in neutral, yeah. right? Because otherwise it's going to go into the barrier, isn't it? Yeah. Are you sure it's going to? I told you you'd all be quivering in your boots. Oh, it's hot. Oh, how do I do it? Let's see it. Let's see it. Ow. Right. Here we have the engine. Although it's a 2019, I've actually got the 2020 high mechanical super boost <laughs> engine <laughs> that they often put in BMWs. So this is obviously. Oh my God. Course. Look, look, this is where you put the, um, lighter this fluid. is where you put the fluid to keep everything moist. This car goes from 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. Maximum speed on the motorway is, I think, 150, but it does advise you not to do that. Oh, is this car 400 kgs? Maximum, maximum amount of people is 400 kgs, isn't it? Is that what that is? Because Yusuf was in here the other day and he's 100 kgs and I, it was going very slow. <laughs> if you were to open this up, Sid, mm. you would find... Um... Horses. By the way, I know nothing about cars. Yep, and neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfying. There you have it, guys. That's my new little baby and I am absolutely in love. I haven't named him or her, but I love it. I know it's not the kind of car you'd think. I wanted to brag about, but I've wanted it since I was so young. If you just pass a driving test, it's the perfect first car. It took about £30 to fill up the tank. I have two big children. They're not big, but like they're big for their, for their age. And they fit in there very nicely. All their things fit in the boot. This is my city car. I'm not going to be driving to London. I'm going to be going to the gym, supermarket, picking up the kids from school, extracurricular activities. Love it! It's so wide! Mika, look higher up. Let's oh, have a look. That's just literally... Oh my gosh, you can see the whole it's house. Like that's that so cool. Weird. What is this? It's a new wide angle lens. What, what's the, what? It's just an attachment. We bought like I bought like a basically a wide angle attachment that goes on <laughs> Dina's new vlogging camera. Oh my God, uh, I'm going bald as hell, man. It's so nice. It looks mad. It literally looks so good, doesn't it? I am so far. It's so much better than. Oh, you guys are so far away. I love it. I love wide angle. I've been bugging Sid for years to get me this. It's so good, isn't it? Sorry, just testing it out. That's like super wide. Thought I'd film my reaction. That's why this scene is a little bit random. I literally just said, press record, film my reaction. It's got a macro lens as well. What is that? Oh, for up close, like the beard. Look. No, no, it's closer than that. Hold on. Yeah, but wait, I just want to show them. I've got the macro lens on. It's not doing anything like this. Obviously, you have to come. So Wait, close. Wait, it goes so close. You, you can... can go closer. Go to your eye. No, my skin. Go to your eye. Go to your eye. <laughs> Look how close it can go. Oh my god. Yeah, I could basically touch your eye. I'm so excited yeah, for this yes. camera quality, man. Oh, yes. What? Guys, I can't. I can back up a little. Wait, You're right there. Back I'm up all the way. Far. Back up all the way. Guys, the struggle I have trying to film outfit videos because there's never enough space to push the tripod all the way back. Look at me now. You can see all of me. There's no problems here. Oh my God, I can do a full on dance. I can do a full on workout with you guys. Look, squat and jump, squat and jump. What is this mental? This is, 
I've wanted a lens like this for like ever since I got on YouTube. We've always got like cameras and we bought wide angle lens like 10 mil, whatever, like proper wide angle. The problem Dina has is she's like, this is too heavy. This is too heavy. That's the, that's that's the, the issue. Yeah. She wanted a small ass point and shoot sort of camera this size, but she wanted it super wide. And we've always had this problem like, I've always been like, how am I going to do that, bro? It's literally. Look how small the setup is. Dina's um, to the side. Sony Z1. Oh, you can't really show them to the side. Tiny camera. It's teeny tiny. It's small, isn't it? It fits in your pocket. Yeah, I mean, I'll be like. Oh, this. with the lens, it doesn't hey. fit in your pocket, but. Well, it does, but look, you can kind of see how thick that lens is there. So if I was to turn you off, you would be able to see if it fits in my pocket or not, but. It's nice and little, and I'm very happy. Thanks, babes. I need to clean this mirror. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> 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 like, 